Hi, I'm Phil Webb, Principal Consultant with Select Business Solutions. Defined development processes have come a long way in the 30 years or so since they were first hailed as the solution to the late, overcost, and wrong delivery of software. An attempt to impose discipline on the ad hoc development of software, many processes were seen to be overkill and were largely subverted by teams under pressure to deliver. Heavyweight bureaucracy and epic volumes of paper were too often seen as the requirement for good processes. As we've seen in other modules in this series, project practitioners rebelled against process-driven software development with the launch of extreme programming and the wider agile movement. More recently, however, moves toward a middle ground have been advanced by organizations such as the DSDM or Dynamic Systems Development Method Consortium. Since there's a spectrum of projects, each requiring different levels of formality and discipline, it's undoubtedly a good thing that a range of approaches now exists. Development methodology has also moved on from the days when defining the latest and greatest way of working was the core activity for a methodologist. Today, the thinking is more about how to ensure the processes are used and that they meet their objectives. In short, the management of the process has become almost more important than the process itself. This thinking is reinforced by standards organizations, such as the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University, with, a, with their Capability Maturity Model, CMM, now the Capability Maturity Model Integration, or CMMI, program. Today, the methods field is also expanding to take into account other project-driven areas of organizations. This is part of the move that has led to the SEI superseding the original CMM, which covered only systems and software engineering. The scope of CMMI has been defined to cover much more than CMM, including areas such as product development, for example. Less emphasis is placed on the specific structure of the processes being managed, as long as it can be shown that they deliver on key practices and are actively applied and managed by the organization. To climb the maturity ladder means that organizations become more and more focused on managing the process. At CMM CMMI level five, optimizing, the organization is focused on continuous improvement of its processes. We'll take a more detailed look at CMMI, including each of its maturity levels and what organizations must consider to achieve them in the next session. The key to climbing the maturity ladder is the concept of active method management. The first target of active method management is the creation of an organization process definition, or OPD a definition of the development processes which are applied across the organization. Note that there's no requirement to define a single process, but all processes in use must be defined, approved, and managed at the organizational level. There's no room for pirate projects doing their own thing, except with clear and careful justification. This reveals another need for active method management assured deployment of the processes to projects. To be effective, the processes must be optimized for the nature of each project. Optimization must only occur within permitted boundaries. Further, it must be possible to know about and to account for the variations introduced. Within the project context, the project team must also be fully aware of the tasks of which the project is comprised and of the individual task assignments. To assist project team members, the definitions of the processes and the techniques and practices which support it should be available. Products are created through the execution of the process and provide proof that the process has been executed correctly. Finally, active method management requires the ability to close the loop Feedback from projects about the qualities and shortcomings of the process definition can focus process improvement activity on those areas which most need attention. 
metrics can be gathered, refined and included in the process definition to improve the quality of future planning and estimation. If processes are to be improved, then they must be subject to review and appraisal before they are deployed. A process asset library is vital to the success of any process improvement initiative, improving the ease with which processes can be managed. It acts as a central repository for all process and project information, ensuring consistency and providing a collaborative knowledge base. An effective process asset library will include high quality presentation to encourage use, ease of navigation, the reuse of existing process components, consistency management and version and configuration control. The process asset library is a technology independent concept, providing the basis of automation for active method management. Currently there are very few commercial products that provide the capabilities described or go beyond them to provide a fully automated active method management. As you can imagine, active method management represents a significant commitment of effort. An investment in future returns gained from improved working practices, better results for clients and increased business. Anything which can reduce the scale of the overhead will improve the probability of a positive outcome from the initial investment. This leads us to two key questions. Can active method management be automated? and how far can such automation be taken? Select Process Director consists of a suite of tools that facilitates all the activities necessary to achieve process maturity. From process authoring and deployment, project planning and execution, through to process feedback and ultimately process improvement. Although not specifically a CMMI tool, it is a process improvement tool and as such can be adapted to any process initiative such as Six Sigma or the Information Technology Infrastructure Library or ITIL. It lends itself perfectly to the CMMI paradigm, supporting organisations through the levels of process maturity from 1 to 5. It allows organisations to adopt, document and improve their existing processes by taking advantage of a predefined process asset library consisting of processes, techniques, resources, tools and products, all of which are aimed at saving time when defining a given process and ensuring that an organisation can adopt industry best practices in an efficient and customizable way. Select Process Director consists of the following tools. Process Studio which is responsible for defining and publishing the development process and associated collateral. It also has facilities for establishing metrics and threshold information for quantitative analysis. Project Workshop, which assists in managing a project that is based on a process published using Studio. It has facilities for creating Microsoft project plans, collecting metrics, synchronising with those plans, assigning roles to team members that have been defined using Studio, as well as providing access to other process collateral, such as first cut risk lists, document templates and so on. This provides the most comprehensive set of functionality for following processes. The Head Up Display, which is an unobtrusive application that runs as a thin ribbon at the top of each team member's desktop. It provides much of the functionality of Project Workshop in addition to an interactive to-do list that details the individual project tasks that each team member must follow. Tasks can be started and signed off for completion, collateral attached and actual metrics captured that can later be analysed against the estimated metrics for process improvement. The heads-up display also acts as a mentoring aid in seconds, team members have direct access to all the process information available within the Quality Management System, or QMS, including examples and references, detailing exactly how a specific task should be performed and the products that are expected as an output. 
This module describes in detail the principles which underpin CMMI and active method management. It takes a pragmatic view by focusing on the key areas of process definition, project planning, project execution and process improvement, identifying opportunities and needs for automation and how Select Process Director can be used to achieve effective active method management. Ultimately, enabling organisations to achieve process maturity and in turn high levels of accreditation in quality standards such as CMMI.